the question is a man sells apples first he gave first he gives half of the total apples and a half apple he then gives half of the remainder apple and remaining apple and half apple he exhaust all the apples with the seventh person how many apples did he give did he have initially how many apples did he have initially so here what happens is a uh, apple sales merchant he is having certain number of apples he gives away half of whatever he has plus half a piece so the second person is giving away half of the remainder plus half a piece third person half of the remainder plus half a piece like this he gives to the seventh person and the apples are getting exhausted I'll just give an example. Supposing he has got ten apples. Supposing he has got ten apples. To the first person, he'll give away five plus half. The remainder will be four and half. That is five minus half, like this. It will be five minus half. To the first person, he'll give away five plus half, half of it. That is five plus half. The remainder will be five minus half. Second person will give half of this, like that. Will be going. So here, let the total number of apples be x. Let the total number of apples be x. to the first person to the first person is giving away half of it will be x by 2 plus half the remainder will be uh, so what happens is the remainder if this minus this will be remainder this minus this will be remainder which will be x by 2 minus half so i don't write i, I don't do like this x minus this you know i know the concept i don't do like this what i do is i'll write x by 2 in both sides If it is going to plus half here, it is going to minus half here. It's very simple to do it. So I'll write x by two on both sides. If it is going to plus half here, the remainder will be minus half. As simple as this. To the second person, he is giving away half of this. Will be x by four minus one by four plus half. The remainder will be x by four minus one by four minus half. Will be equal to x by four minus three by four. X by four minus three by four. To the third person. He will be giving away half of it, which will be x by eight minus three by eight plus half. The remainder will be x by eight minus three by eight minus half will be x by eight minus seven by eight. To the fourth person, he will be giving away half of this, which will be x by sixteen minus seven by sixteen plus half. The remainder will be x by sixteen. Minus seven by sixteen minus half will be equal to x by sixteen minus fifteen by sixteen. To the fifth person, half of it will be x by thirty-two minus fifteen by thirty-two plus half. The remainder will be x by thirty-two minus fifteen by thirty-two minus half will be x by thirty-two minus thirty-one by thirty-two. Then sixth person, half of it. Will be x by 64 minus 31 by 64 plus half. The remainder will be x by 64 minus 31 by 64 minus half will be x by 64 minus 63 by 64. And to the last person, he will be giving away half of it, which will be x by 128 minus 63 by 128 plus half. The remainder will be x by 128. Minus 63 by 128 minus half will be x by 128 minus 127 by 128. Now we will have to find out the answer. This is the seven percent. What happens is he is exhausting all the apples. What is given? How many apples does he have? He exhausted the seven seven percent. Now he has got x number of apples. He has got x number of apples. He gives it to seven percent means. X will be equal to this plus this plus this plus this plus this plus this plus this. So this is going to be a difficult way of solving it. This is going to be a difficult way of solving. If I say X will be equal to all, total all this, you will be getting an answer. But it's a difficult way of solving it. The other way of doing it is whatever balance he has got after the sixth, he is giving to seven percent. Does not have anything means the X by sixty four minus sixty three by sixty four will be equal to this. This better than this. But the easier way of doing it is, whatever after the seventh person, it does not have any balance. So equate this to zero because after the seven, this is the remainder. This becomes zero. So what will happen is x by one twenty eight minus one twenty seven by one twenty eight will be equal to zero. This one twenty will get cancelled out. X will be equal to one twenty seven. 
the answer is 127. He had 127 apples initially. Then this is the way of working it out. I am sure that many of you will have difficulty in calculations. We will be doing like this. I will also give you a shortcut for this. I will also give you a shortcut for this. See the balance after the 7th is 0. Which you are sure. Because he says after the 7th is exhausting everything. The balance after the 7th is 0. Now coming here. This is the balance after the 1st. X by 2 minus half is the balance after the 1st. From here I want to go to X. From here I want to go to X. So I will have to follow the reverse order. I will have to follow the reverse order. When I follow the reverse order what will happen is. If I have done minus I will have to do plus. If I have done into in the forward, I will have to do division. If I have done in division, I will do into, I have done plus, I will have to do minus. Like that, I will have to reverse the entries. Now, here what happens is, x by 2 minus half, I want to go to x means, I will do plus half first. I will do plus half plus. The once I do plus half, this will become x by 2. From x by 2, if I have to go to x, I will have to multiply it by 2. So, whatever balance I have here after the first, plus half, the whole thing into 2, I will be going to x. Whatever balance I have here, plus half, the whole thing into 2, I will go to x. Now, the process of remainder is same throughout. The process of remainder is same throughout. Whatever I have here, plus half, uh, whatever I have here is half of it minus half. Whatever I have here, half of it minus half. Whatever I have here, half of it minus half. Whatever I have here, half of it minus half. The process of remainder is same throughout. After the 7th, I definitely know the balance is 0. So from going here one step, I told you it is plus half the whole thing into 2. So here will be plus half into 2. I will come here, it will be 1. From here it will go up. So it will be plus half the same process into 2 will be 3 here. From here one step forward, plus half into 2 will be 7. Then again one step forward, 7 plus half into 2 will be 15. Then 15 plus half, 15 plus half into 2 will be 31, 31 plus half into 2 will be 63 and 63 plus half into 2 will be 127, will be 127. So the, once you understand the forward order, the reverse order is very very simple, whatever is the difficult problem, when you follow the reverse order, you can do it in less than a minute. Subscribe to my channel, I will be adding questions every now and then, wish you all the best.